Klaus, thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. Pleasure. Klaus, there's been a number of restrictions on pesticides in the EU lately. Can you explain a little bit about what's going on with that? Well, I mean, it all turns up when, when we have had this, this uh, famous accident in 2008, which uh, was really an, an accident uh, which, which turned out in, from, from different uh, uh, problems. So, uh, nevertheless, the result has been that uh, we have had a lot of restrictions in using neonics, uh, particularly in, in seed treatment, which is the concern for the seed industry. And uh, we are now facing uh, two regulations which have been put in place for uh, neonicotinoids and uh, fibronil, which are now um, limiting the use to only a few species and only to um, certain sowing times which is a, a big headache for us. It is amazing to me how specific of target this has been uh, on a wide scope to, to specifically focus in on seed treatments. Can you give any, do you have any ideas to why the specific well, the, target? The, the, the specific target turned up from this accident where we have had a, a lot of dust off, so dust which have been free uh, and has been distributed then by the drilling machines and depending on the drilling equipment you have had these, these uh, vacuum, uh, these pneumatic drilling machines and they have an exhaust which was pushing uh, the, the overpressure right into the air. Now one of the things has been that uh, in the meantime we got um, another product free again, another insecticide, but with the adaptation, the obligation to adapt the sewing devices by air flu deviation. Now it's uh, put straight into the ground or very close onto the ground with low pressure and by that the dust which was included um, is now uh, put straight into the ground covered again by the, by the sewing device and um, the major point of all of these things was that in the off, the off, cross, off crop uh, there was too much active ingredient found which was killing bees and bees are very sensible not only in Europe, I think, right. everywhere else. I think that's true. So uh, this information is <clears throat> quite obviously not in decision makers' hands yet. So how do we get this information into decision makers' hands? They, they know it, but the problem is that um, a lot of our studies, which have been made by the industry, which have been made by the authorities, were not really seen from EFSA, which is the uh, European uh, um, Food Safety Association, um, they have only looked at uh, very limited um, studies where they feel they are uh, valuable because they have had a peer review and everything and um, all the other activities which we have been doing within the last five years uh, which means um, improving um, treatment recipes, uh, using stickers, uh, um, getting the processes uh, much finer tuned and, and all these things, including the activities of, of the um, sewing device industry, uh, they have not been considered in a way we would have expected. Any thoughts on how, we, uh, how the European Seed Association can, can take that to the next level? We have done uh, one very important uh, step, which is the creation and the implementation of ESTA. ESTA is European Seed Treat Assurance Scheme. Uh, this is a scheme which be, has been developed uh, within ESTA and several countries. Um, main drivers have been uh, France, Germany and, and the UK for that. And uh, this is now implemented. Uh, we could hear last, yesterday that uh, there are already 30 or 40 sites uh, which are certified uh, for, for this um, issue. And the certification does not mean only that uh, the, the hardware, the treating facility is checked, it is everything. It's the entire process, the, the quality management, it is the, the weighing, the control of airstream, everything. So industry is buying into the concept? Industry is buying into the concept. Um, we would like to see more speed on it, um, but this is something where you have each time to re-explain again why and uh, what for. But the major point for us is that we must not now, uh, even with the, with the um, ban of neonics and, and fibronil, uh, we must not slow down in our efforts because uh, today it's this product, tomorrow it's that product.
we, we are facing in the moment a situation, particularly here in Europe, where people are very um, suspicious in respect to, to seed treatment, to plant protection anyhow, and we know that without plant protection agriculture is no more, no more longer uh, competitive. In the U.S. there is uh, initiatives in place to to get more knowledge out into the world about seed treatments as well, both at the grower level and at uh, the society at large. And I assume you're familiar with these initiatives. Are they are they working in parallel with ESTA, or are they, is it kind of going in a different direction? It's a little bit going into into a different direction. In the in the um, U.S., it's more product driven. People are focusing on the product and how to handle. In Europe, we are more process orientated, which means we want to implement a proper process to use the different products. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's it's uh, a, a different approach. In the end, the result should be the same. But what we want to, to avoid is that we have for each product a different approach. In general, the processes need need to be the same. You have to to test uh, the the treating recipe on the site itself. You have to make your Heubach test, you have to check if everything is okay, if you undercut the um, reference values and, and so on, to be sure that you are doing the right things. And with process in mind, then it doesn't matter what the product is, is as long as you've got the right process in place. Here we go. Right. Interesting. Do you, do you see ESA playing an ever-growing role in that outreach concept? Um, I think yes, because uh, ESA in the end is the organization for the European seed industry. And we have on the other side uh, the colleagues from the European uh, plant protection industry, which is ECPA. Mm -hmm. So uh, we need here to have uh, similar organizations working together on eyesight, uh, exchanging positions, and in the end we have jointly to find solutions. This is not, not the job of the uh, plant protection industry giving a solution to the seed industry because the major point between these two industries is we don't know a lot or we don't know anything about the seed treatment products and they don't know anything about our genetics and we have some, somehow to combine these, these things. And then you have interactions if you use insecticide, fungicide, uh, stickers, colorants, and so on. So all these packages have to be handled in a in a proper way. And this is there is uh, um, industry know-how, there is company know-how, and of course you have always to see how how to handle this in a in a in a right sense to keep uh, even the point intellect intellectual property right. That's great, Klaus. Thanks for sitting down with me today. I appreciate it. Great pleasure. Thank you.